Thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Brian, and today we are with the Inspire 2. This is going to be my first part in a long series of uh, things that I'm going to be doing with the Inspire 2. Today is going to be all about the batteries and how to charge them. So let's go ahead and get this opened up, and we'll get started. It's actually a really nice case comes with the Inspire 2. It's that hard foam. Really, really nice stuff. And there you go. There's the Inspire 2, and that's what uh, pretty much comes with it. You got the drone, you got the X4S camera, you got the remote, you got the battery hub, the batteries, and the battery charger. The uh, batteries, which is what we're going over today, are the TB50 models. They're uh, the 4,280 uh, milliamps uh, self-heating batteries. That's uh, that's a really nice one. I was just out in North Carolina when I took the Mavic out. It actually had a warning on the screen telling me my batteries were cold. On the app, you can actually engage the self-heating system for the Inspire 2 batteries. You get roughly you know 27 minutes is what they say on the manual. But uh, real world, I'm only getting like 25, 24, depending upon how I fly in sport mode. Obviously, it's gonna it's gonna uh, drain batteries a little bit less. You need two batteries to fly with the Inspire 2. Uh, one of the really cool things about the batteries in the Inspire 2 is the ability to hot swap. You don't have to shut this drone down to change the batteries. And for me, when I'm in areas like the Everglades and stuff like that, where it's tough sometimes to get a signal, I really don't want to shut it off. So that's a that's a big factor for me is the hot swapping of the batteries. Actually, on top of the drone, there's uh, uh, the battery release. It's actually two releases, and you can press one in at a time. Uh, it comes with your charging hub. This is the Inspire 2 charging hub that comes with it. It actually can charge four different batteries at the same time. Four different ports, just like that. Bam! Today we're only going to be using two. Uh, one of the things I recommend though, if you do have more batteries, label them. Put uh, letter A set, letter B set, and do not mix up the two. Always fly the uh, same set of batteries together at all times. So you're going to need the charging hub, you're going to need the charging brick, which you got to lift up on the drone to uh, get that part out, which is right here. Coming back in there right now. Okay, we're going to need this, and we're going to need the cord, where's the cord, right here, here's the cord, and we're going to need that. One of the things I really love about the uh, Inspire 2 is you're able to charge not only four batteries at once, but you can also charge the remote. So let's go, you know, let's just go ahead and show you how to charge the remote also um, with, the, with the batteries, so that you know how to do that as well. Just go ahead and untangle your antennas. Get those out the way. All right, so what you're going to want to do is basically take your charging brick. You're going to want to connect your cord. Where did I put my cord? Oh, here it is. I'm going to take your cord. One thing I love about the Inspire 2 is pretty much really all the DJI drones, any of the DJI drones, all of them are quality. Everything that comes with them is quality. Um, and I really, I really like that. That's that's nice. With the Inspire 2's charger, you actually have two parts on the charging brick itself. One for the charging hub and one for the remote. On the charging hub, right here on the top is a little, a little rubber flap. You simply lift that up to plug the wires in. How you put the batteries in is on the back of the battery is the plug-in port. Match it up with the port on the charging hub. And they only go in one way, so you can't force them or mess it up. The way I do it is I just pretty much line it up with the tab. And it goes right in like that. Take the other battery, and how this works is, you see the ridges on the battery right there? Well, take the other battery's ridges, okay, and flip it to the other side. And then it goes in just like that, okay? That's how you plug in your batteries on the charging hub. Then you take, I forget which one it is. I'm not sure if it's the thicker or the smaller one. I believe it's the smaller port. You lift up that little rubber flap I was telling you about. You simply plug it right into the top of the charging hub like that. You take the other one, and on the side of the remote right here is another little rubber flap. You put that up. Realistically, like I said, you're only going to get maybe 
25 minutes flight time on this, which I think is absolutely outstanding. Um, I've had absolutely no problems so far with the Inspire 2. You plug in the remote like that, depending upon how much juice is left in the batteries or remote, usually takes about 45 minutes to charge it up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get these batteries, get this remote all charged up, and just go ahead and sit back and relax. I'll be right back, and I'm going to show you how to install these actually on the bird. All right, so the batteries are now completely charged. That took like, I don't know, it was like 47 minutes or something like that, and I think the batteries were around 32%. So you figure, give yourself about an hour uh, after you fly them. You know, you want to let them cool for a couple minutes before charging them again. But you figure about an hour's charge time. So that's why it's kind of cool you can charge four batteries at once. So how you basically install them is on the back of the Inspire right here, you're going to see the notches on the, on the side of the Inspire. Basically take the uh, plug-in ports. That goes forward. you got your notches. That goes up against the bird. You simply line it up. You feel the spring, and then you just push, and you'll hear it click. Just like that. Take your other battery, line it up, slide it right in, click it in, just like that. So right here on top of the Inspire 2 is the battery release button, and you can see it's actually two individual buttons. If you press just one of those down like that, it releases one battery. Then you can put your new battery in. And then you can press down the middle one, which will release that one. And then you can slide in the new one there. So hot swapping the batteries is, is really, really cool. So you won't lose GPS signal. And that's, that's something that I definitely like about this drone itself. So you got both batteries in. So that pretty much is it as far as how you charge the battery, how you install the batteries on the Inspire 2. Once you have the batteries installed, at that point, you can go ahead and take the Inspire 2 out of travel mode. What you do is on the top here, the power button right here, click that five times, and that will take it out of travel mode and put it into um, ready-to-fly mode. One, two, three, four, five. Tell me that's just not the coolest thing. All right. And we're going to go ahead and shut it off. Press it once, press it again, and long press. And that shuts the bird down. So I hope this video helped you. That's how you charge and install the Inspire 2 batteries. Uh, definitely look forward to the next video. We're going to go ahead and show you how to install the camera and gimbal. And as always, subscribe, comment. I'll see you later.